Hello, truth seekers, and welcome back to our channel, where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. Today, I've got some piping hot royalty to spill all over you guys today. Brace yourselves because this is going to get ugly and messy real quick. So Prince Harry's headed back to the UK next week for some Invictus game stuff, but the big question on everyone's mind is, will he reunite with his estranged fam bam? Based on what I'm hearing, the prospects are about as good as me befriending a hungry lion. But before we delve into the tumultuous waters of this revelation, if you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss the explosive content we have in store. So now, let's talk with Daddy Warbucks, aka King Charles. There's an outside chance these two might actually cross paths and make awkward small talk, as painful as that might be. Chuck's reportedly willing to temporarily forgive Harry's endless airing of dirty family laundry just to get a little face time with his renegade son. How charitable of him. But get this, the same olive branch is absolutely not being extended to Harry's own brother, Prince William. Multiple sources are adamant there's not a chance in hell these two seal the rift while Harry's in town. And you can practically hear Meghan screeching in panic over it as we speak. See, from what I'm picking up on the royal streets, old Megs has had this whole sly plot cooking to shamelessly weasel her way back into the palace life she so desperately craves. And her little puppet husband Prince Heir was pivotal to making it all happen behind the scenes. Here's how I hear it went down. After torching every bridge with the royals through years of incessant tamper tantrums and truth bombs, Megan realized the big California guru grift wouldn't pay the Spotify bills forever. This demonic diva had to slither her way back into the good graces of the monarchy by any means necessary, and fast. So she ropes her sad sack of a husband into helping facilitate a fragile reunion with Papa Charles I. Q Harry's panicked, we've gotta save my dad bro, energy, and quick trip to see the king after his cancer diagnosis earlier this year. The Marco Matrix's tentacles already start worming into the kingdom. Next up, it's the big power play she's been waiting for, getting Harry to finally extend an olive branch and set up a face-to-face -face with the all-important Prince William. Because in Meghan's mind, so long as William resents her for her shenanigans, she'll never be able to recapture that beloved, lavish royal lifestyle. The key was dangling Harry's relationship with his brother, niece and nephews right in front of his face. If anything can melt that cold, petty heart of William's, it's the thought of depriving his kids of their fun uncle, right? So Meghan starts hatching this whole secret plan for Harry's UK trip, designed to put on the ultimate performance guilt tripping William into accepting them back into the fold. Maybe start by telling some sad sob stories about missing the kids, really playing up how depressing life in America has become without the palace perks, then schmooze for a little bro bonding. Sprinkle in some vague allusions to smooth things over and heal old wounds. Before long, Megan saw William as a broke, beaten man, desperate to mend fences with his only brother. Bam! Just like that, her calculated trap would be set. William lets his guard down, invites Harry and his snake wife back into the inner circle for old time's sakes. And phase one of the Marco Matriarch's return to power would be complete. It really was the perfect long con when you think about it. But then, Meg's whole evil plot got completely foiled and dismantled by Big Willie himself. Dude was somehow able to sniff this whole Machiavellian scheme out from a mile away. Maybe it was her hissing that tipped him off, I don't know. Whatever the case, William is straight up refusing to even acknowledge Harry's presence in the UK next week, let alone start gearing up for a teary-eyed reunion. Multiple royal insiders are screaming from the rooftops. These two brothers won't reunite, cannot reunite. Their relationship is too damn toxic and broken after everything that's happened. So what do you think about it? Please share your thoughts in the comments below and let me know what you think. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.